Today, get ready for an epic clash of TV titans as we pit Stranger Things against The Walking Dead. We've got a lot to cover, from characters to storylines and everything in between. So, let's jump into it. Kicking things off, let's talk about the unique premises and settings of these shows. Stranger Things takes us on a nostalgic trip back to the 80s with its supernatural mysteries. While The Walking Dead throws us into a post-apocalyptic world filled with zombies and desperate survivors, it's like a battle between the unknown and the undead. I don't know about you, but I'd love to know which world our viewers would rather find themselves in, the Upside Down or the World of Walkers. Now let's dive into the characters that make these shows so captivating. Stranger Things gives us this amazing group of kids who are so relatable and brave. And Eleven, she's just iconic. But don't forget The Walking Dead, where every character's journey is a roller coaster of emotions. Who's your favorite? Dustin or Rick? Let us know. It's definitely a tough call. And what's a showgown without a little friendly rivalry, right? Now, let's really dive into the heart of these shows, their storylines and pacing. Stranger Things does an incredible job of blending supernatural elements with the emotional lives of its characters. Eva, from Eleven's search for her identity to the upside down secrets, it keeps us engaged on so many levels. And then there's The Walking Dead, which constantly reminds us that survival isn't just about staying alive physically, but also about holding onto our humanity. The show explores the complexities of human relationships in the midst of chaos. It keeps us on the edge of our seats with every twist and turn. And let's be honest, you never know who's going to make it to the next episode. Exactly. The pacing of Stranger Things is like a well-crafted puzzle. It lets you put together the pieces at your own pace while keeping you invested. And The Walking Dead uses its slower moments to delve deep into character development, making us feel connected to the survivors. It's a bit like comparing a suspenseful roller coaster to a gripping drama. Which style of storytelling do you prefer? The supernatural enigma of Stranger Things or the gritty survivalism of The Walking Dead? Ultimately, both approaches have their own merits and keep us coming back for more. So, let us know in the comments which narrative style resonates with you the most. For me, it's like choosing between hunting for demogorgons or scavenging for supplies in a walker-infested world. Tough choices indeed. James, and that's the beauty of these shows. They offer us such different yet equally thrilling experiences. Indeed, they do. So, dear viewers, weigh in on this storytelling showdown and keep the discussion going. Which narrative keeps you glued to your screen? Share your thoughts. All right, let's amp up the adrenaline as we delve into the thrilling and heart-pounding moments that these shows deliver. Stranger Things knows how to create tension with its supernatural elements. The Demogorgon lurking in the shadows, the Mind Flayer's ominous presence. It's like a roller coaster of suspense. And don't forget those intense moments when the kids are outsmarting monsters and government agents. It's like a mix of mystery solving and pulse pounding action. On the flip side, The Walking Dead is a master of crafting intense life or death scenarios. Those Walker encounters, they're just nerve-wracking. Every rustle in the bushes could mean danger. Exactly, Eva. The show doesn't hold back on its gory and shocking moments, keeping us perpetually on the edge. It's like a survival horror game brought to life. So viewers, which gets your heart racing more? The eerie and supernatural thrills of Stranger Things or the heart-stopping suspense of The Walking Dead? It's like choosing between facing the unknown in the upside down or facing the undead in a world overrun by walkers. Now let's talk about the fans and impact. Stranger Things has this massive 80s loving following, while The Walking Dead has built a universe with spin-offs and more. These shows have influenced pop culture in big ways. So, are you a fan of the nostalgia-driven Stranger Things or the expansive world of The Walking Dead? It's like choosing between Eggo waffles and well, regular waffles? Or a crossbow and a psychic girl? Tough choices. And that's a wrap on our epic showdown. Stranger Things and The Walking Dead both have their strengths, and it's been so much fun discussing them with you, Eva. James, but the real winners here are all of us, because we get to enjoy these amazing shows. So, what's your verdict? 
Which show takes the crown in your eyes? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss our TV debates. Thanks for tuning in.